upon a request from one of my lovely subscribers i'm making this video on how i get my edges from this to this the products i use the brush i use the technique i use so if that sounds interesting to you then keep on watching Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Senny and today we are going to be talking about our edges. I'm going to be showing you how I do my edges, okay, how I achieve my edges and I'm going to make it very snappy because why not? Um, so the thing is I uploaded a video on how I achieved this hairstyle and I got a few requests to show how I achieved the edges I made in the video, okay? So I'm going to be showing you the products I use, the one that has worked for me from experience, the one that, the one that I'll advise you not to buy. Don't waste your money like I did. I've been looking for a product that can help me lay my edges sleek down to the extent that after a few hours, it's still be laid down. It's not, it's not mess up. I hope you are getting what I'm trying to drive at. So that's why I'm making this video to share with you the products that work and don't work when you want to lay your edges and, and to also show you how I use my brush to draw my edges. And so with that, let's just get right into the video. The most common edge control we use is the Echo Styler. <laughs> oh guys, Echo Styler doesn't work for me. That's the, that's the bottom line. I will slap Echo Styler gel on my edges. It doesn't do anything like it doesn't make the edges sleep it doesn't it doesn't give me that it doesn't give me that mm, that mm look it doesn't give me that mm look i'm looking for so i've tried echo styler i've tried nova gel and it didn't work so why not why not use air cream so before we get into me showing you how i apply the air cream on my edges and how i achieve the sleek style i would like to share that i have been trying to grow my edges for the longest time now i've been trying to grow my edges and i've tried a lot of stuff okay i've tried a lot of sprays and i think i've gotten the perfect mixture okay i've been trying i've been doing a lot of experiments with herbal sprays and i think i've gotten the one that is working because i've so far i'm seeing results i'll leave i'll leave pictures of before and how it's looking now this is how my edges are looking like now. If you see the before photos, you understand where I'm coming from. Uploading the video, I'll be uploading that video soon on this channel. If you do not want to miss out on the video, please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. If you are subscribed and you don't receive notifications when I post the video, it means your post notification bells are not on. So click on the subscribe and click on the bell so that you can receive notifications when I post the edge growth video. Okay too much talking we've been talking too much we've been talking too much let's just get right into the reason why we are here how to sleek and sleek our edges <laughs> the first thing we are going to be needing is our brush our edge brush if you do not have this edge brush sis, don't stress yourself you can use a normal toothbrush okay a new toothbrush you use it for your edge okay a soft toothbrush for that matter you can use it i i like to use this more than even this so we are just going to use this so the first thing we are going to be doing is bring all the hair back if you have braids send it to the back okay so you can concentrate on the edge well so now that the hair is out of the way i'm going to be taking my air cream then my brush then this is this is where this is where this is where the magic begins precision precision is key oh you people if you do not like this video out now i can't start this edge please like like before we start i'm waiting for you like like okay, let's start let's start so i'm just going to take a small of the edge cream if your edges is not it's not bunch enough you can just brush a little of your real hair to the front okay you can brush a little of your real hair to the front then apply the 
I might do a voice over at this point so that I can concentrate on the edge. Okay, I don't want to do mistakes. Now that I'm showing everybody, I don't want to do mistakes. So first, I'm going to be spraying my edges with rose water just to, you know, soften the face a bit before I move on to applying the gel because the the air cream is a hard gel so I do, I do not want to disturb my going edges just because I want to have sleek edges that's why I'm spraying water I also sprayed my brush the brush I'll be using I sprayed it with water to also soften the brush because I don't want to use a hard or a harsh brush on my edges the next thing I'm going to be doing is applying the air cream on my edges here i'm just applying a generous amount of the gel on my edges we'll be needing more or less later on in the video but i'm just applying a good amount on my edges before i start using my brush here you can see me using the brush and the help of my finger to lay down the edges this is basically like self-explanatory in a way with the help of my finger i lay the edges the brush alone will not do it you have to use your finger to guide the hair in the direction you want the hair to go as you can see i used my hand and with the help of the brush to draw the line yes it makes the hair stay in place if the hand alone will not work the brush alone will not work you have to use your hand and the brush moving on on to the other part of my hair what you are seeing me do now is applying a generous amount of the gel on the other half of my edge so i apply a good amount on my edge before i go in with my finger and the brush if i'll need more i'll use more here, what you see me do is using my finger to direct the brush the way I want the hair to go. So I'm using the finger and the brush to direct my hair in the way or in the direction I want it to go. You have to be patient if you want to get good results. You have to be patient. It doesn't just come. You have to be patient when you are drawing the lines. I'm using my finger and my brush to direct the hair in the direction I want it to go. If I do this and I don't get the right direction, I'll do it again. I'll scatter it then do it again. Again, using my finger and my brush, I'm going to direct my hair in the direction I want it to go. Now, the curls can be bigger than what you are seeing me do right now. Or you can make it big or small depending on how you want your edge to come out like. If you do not have a lot of idea about how to draw up your edges and you do it for the first time, it's not working out. So just try it again and again and again until you get it. You can even watch this tutorial again in order to grasp the concept well if you are not getting it for the first time. The essence gel in my hair, I'm just going to use my cloth. Oh, and yes, one of my housemates worked in. Yes, here you see me use my cloth to clean the excess gel that is in the hair. Yes, it was messing up with my background lights. I'm using my cloth to clean the excess gel because you do not want the white residue in your hair. So. Here, I'm just going in again. The curves that I find that are not kept enough, I'm just going to use my finger and my brush to draw it up better. That's all I'll be doing here. All the curves I think are not kept enough. Here, I'm adding more gel to the part where I think it has not slept enough. I'm adding more gel. So you can add more gel or even remove some of the gel using a cloth. You can use a cloth to wipe out some of the gel depending on your preference if you think the gel is too much you use your cloth to wipe up the excess if you think it's not enough you you add more gel and also a quick hack here if you think you have spoiled the thing like you have spoiled the edge line you can just use water spray that part use the brush 
brush the edge in front again then we draw the the edge just use water spray the part brush the edge in front again then we draw it according to the way you want to do it you see it has come out better it's coming out better than it was looking at first So now I'm liking the results I'm getting so far, but I feel like they have applied too much edge liner there. So I'm just going to take my cloth, then gently clean the excess edge cream from my edges. Okay, you will not clean it basa basa. You just use the cloth, then clean along the line of the curve. Not so you will not distract the pattern of the edge. So this is me checking out how the edges is looking to see if i need to make any changes before i scarf it this is just me checking out how the whole edge is looking like and so far i think it's looking great i think it's looking good enough and guess who decided to walk in another housemate distracting my video and the moment he realized <laughs> he was being caught on camera he was trying to hide. I'm like, the camera has gotten him already. Yeah, so I, I told you I was not going to cut this place out. I'm going to put it far. <laughs> the camera has already got him. You should stop hiding. So yeah, that's my basic edge routine. Hello guys. So that's the end. Kojo! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I got a nice picture of something up the pig. Hello guys, so we've come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, your sisters, your family, and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. I'm going to leave a link to the way I achieve this hairstyle in the description box below. And subscribe because I'm going to be uploading the video on the herbal spray I used to grow my edges. So, and with that, thanks so much for watching and it's me, Sammy, and I'm out.